Hello everyone, thanks for today. second video. We're going to have a look at where next week's 10 days. In today's second video, this will take us into the second week of March. We're going to go to around the 11th of the month uh, with this update. Already done the March month head forecast. If you want to have a look at that, uh, check out the video and the written post that goes with that on the month head uh, updates page. And you find the button that will take you there here on the home page. Just scroll down the page and uh, it's there. The button will take you to the Gazweb's month head forecast page. Don't forget Terry Scroll. Is, um, March month head forecast as well. I say this is looking at weather next week to 10 days. Uh, it's going to be unsettled. We uh, predicted this in the March month head forecast that we have unsettled uh, certainly first week to 10 days of the month and that's going to be playing out. We might be f um, seeing indications of a bit colder, being certainly a bit colder as well towards the middle of the month. But I'll show you the detail in a second. Before I get on with that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages. Have a browse through which is a quick through links. You're going to help us pay the website. Thanks so much for doing that. There's also video ads, both pages, which only content when you're watching, you close it back up again. It does help to pay the ads for this. Um, just say off with this picture from uh, Jay in Huntley Aberdeenship beautiful picture of a uh, very rare phenomenon, a double uh, rainbow. I think that's taken on Sunday afternoon. Uh, really spectacular picture there. Don't forget, if you've got your weather pics, you can uh, post them in the comment box at Gazovitz. You can also email them to us at Gazovitz at gmail.com and we're always happy to feature those pictures uh, in the videos. Big thank you to uh, Jay for sending that through. Uh, have a look at the Arctic Constellation then, and this is the uh, Arctic Constellation of the Observed and Forecast chart. The black line here tells us where the Arctic Constellation has been. The red lines where the GFS ensembles are forecasting the Arctic Constellation to go. Remember, this is just an index that's reflecting the state of the atmosphere over North Pole. It's not driving anything, it just tells you what the atmosphere is doing. Through most of the winter, the Arctic Constellation has been in positive territory. We're still very positive. That's where we are right now. But we're going to be forecasting. We are forecasting it. We are going to be dropping the Arctic Constellation into negative territory. After that, there's a lot of uncertainty. But it looks like overall, the Arctic Constellation will be trending more on the negative side, I think, going up towards the middle part of March. So it tries to uh, rebound a little bit. We try to reduce the blocking and uh, lift the Arctic Constellation back up. But I think overall the trend is probably to return it back into negative territory around the middle part of March. That would be that period just there. So that ties in with the possibility of something a little bit colder through the uh, middle part of the month. These are the 500 middle bar height anomaly flow charts for the next week's 10 days. We've got the ECDF here on the top, the GFS, have a look at that in a moment. It's on the bottom, 500 middle bar, 80,000 feet is an area in the absolute high pressure, low pressure beam of by jet stream running above. Blair extrapolates to low pressure and red to high pressure. So the ECDF is placing a ridge to the south of us in around a week to 10 days' time, with the flow coming in off the Atlantic, but we've also got quite a lot of high pressure up to the north. So it's a very complicated looking pattern, and a troughing over Scandinavia, very complicated looking pattern. And whilst I think it will turn a bit milder through the middle and latter stages of next week, uh, beyond that, as we get towards the middle part of March, we might find this ridge uh, building up to here, uh, sending an area of high pressure through the middle of the Atlantic. And with low pressure through Scandinavia, that could turn the winds into the north. So that's what I'm looking at, I think, for the middle part of uh, March, possibly something a bit colder then. GFS is very similar. Next week, it is looking unsettled. So uh, this is the anomaly for the next week to 10 days, which takes us through next week and we've got this ridge here down to the south of the country got low pressure up to the north and it's essentially a flat westerly flow so it's certainly going to be unsettled and fairly mild through the course of next week any particularly colder weather we'll be looking at that as we go through towards the middle part of uh, march the um, temperature ensembles, GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles, looking like this. A red line here is 30 year temperature average. So you see, generally, it's above average to around there, which is the 11th of March. So that's 10 days away. Near normal around here, but overall above average, uh, average to above average, let's say, for the first 10 days. It's this period just here where we are getting a lot of cold GFS ensemble members appearing now, several of them are going really quite cold through this period. In fact, we might do an ensemble watch uh, tonight if I've got time. Several members of the GFS ensembles are turning cold uh, through this second week of March up to the middle part 
of a month, which is this period just here. The precipitation, we see that uh, lots of rainfall coming up over the next week, 10 days. To around there, getting plenty of rain. Still unsettled beyond that, but probably not quite as wet through this period as we have it through this period. But certainly the first week to 10 days of March is going to have quite a lot of rain. Temperature anomalies look like this. It's going to be turning cold across Scandinavia. You haven't seen that much this winter, but the temperature anomaly going cold in average Scandinavia Elsewhere for the UK, we're looking at a round to ever so slightly milder than average from the 2nd to the 10th of March. The precipitation only, if anything, it's still on the wetter than average side. So I think we have got lots more unsettled weather to come in the uh, coming week. See how things looking in America with the temperature anomaly from the 2nd to the 10th of March. It's a bit cold on average in the east, significantly cold on average in the west, and in the Midwest, actually, it's a bit warmer than average, so a three-way split going on in America at the moment. Here's a generic chart, Sam. This is Monday, and we're bringing low pressure in off the Atlantic. There'll be quite a lot of rain coming in with that. Pressure's trying to build over Scandinavia on Tuesday, but it's still these areas of low pressure that are driving in from the west. This could be bringing gale force winds and heavy rain on Wednesday, uh, this area of low pressure just here. After that, a bit of a build of pressure to the southwest. That's starting to drag up milder air from uh, the southwest. So temperatures lifting up through the second half of uh, next week. But this ridge looks rather flimsy and still these areas of low pressure are driving in off the Atlantic. So the weekend of the 11th, 12th of March, looking unsettled. This takes us to day 10, which is going into the 12th of March. We're finding low pressure still driving in from off the Atlantic. Looks really quite unsettled then. It's starting to turn a bit colder from the northwest as well. Beyond that, GFS uh, 6 o'clock run does actually turn things quite cold. Eventually we pull in a cold easterly wind as we run up to the middle part of uh, March. I'm not sure about that but certainly i do think there's the potential to get things a bit colder around the middle of the month this is the east end of the earth again low pressures driving in off the atlantic through the early part of next week looks very unsettled high pressures trying to get in over scandinavia but not really able to do anything and let's go through to the middle of next week looks unsettled and increasingly mild if you follow the ice bars back the air is originating from the Azores, pushing up there. So uh, it turns really mild, potentially, in the south, anyway, through the early part of next week. But it's all flattened off quite quickly, and we go back into a cooler westerly flow. We go up to day 10, and it still looks very unsettled up to the 12th of March. A low pressure's out to the west of Scotland. That's been showers or longer spells of rain. So we're looking at unsettled weather, most definitely, over the next week to 10 days. Um, going to be all driving in off the Atlantic. I think temperatures will be getting a boost through the course next week. It could take a little while, but middle and latter stages of next week, I think, sees those temperatures lifting up. Uh, and then after that, I think all eyes on whether we do get a cold snap for the middle part of March. That's what we'll be looking for over the next few days. Right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.